So the company you keep, somebody said if you're the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. You should change your room. At if you have five foolish friends, you didn't count properly, there are actually six, plus yourself. <laughs> Higher. So your company defines you. So you know, iron sharpens iron. So wana kushapen either kwa vitu mzuri ama kwa vitu mbaya, wana kushapen. Um, but now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral or covetous or idolatrous or reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner, not to even eat with such a person. Apa Paul alikuwa nasema, Siwezi waambia ati msikip, msikae na watu wenye ni eh, tuwaite sinas, hizo sinsu zote. Pamoja, wenye wako kwa world, wenye wako kwa world, wamesha chagua world. Otherwise, ingemin utoke kwa world. Lakini, nimewaambia muangalie sana, wenye wanajita ni wa kristo. Unakumuka venilianza bai kuwauliza, hizo uimboza atis mwenye haujuika ni secular, haujuika ni gospel. Yes. Au yes. watu wanajita, they are born again. Lakini ukiangalia matunda yake ni ya dunia, siyo ya kingdom. Those ones we are told not even to eat with such a person. Because kukupatia doctrine wrong, ama kukupatia uongo enye inaka ukweli enye kona baibu ndani, ni raisi sana na eneza kupoteza. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Last point tuendele, tumalize sasa. This is my last point. And it's very important. And it is media. We've talked about movies. Media means anything that you bring into yourself. It can be what you read. Girls will love novels in school. Uh, it can be what you watch, what you listen to, including uh, music, navituka maizo. All of that media. Even the people you follow on social media. All of that media influences you. You get ideologies from what you watch. Let me ask you. Nani aneza kumbuka kenye wali ubiriwa mid term? Ya first term. Senye wali enda church. Ehe, niambie? Ehe, yes? First term, fasting. Ehe, that's one. Mungine? Okay. Nani aneza kumbuka movie enye aliona akiwa nursery school? Did I say more? Kiriku. Yes, yes. Kiriku. <laughs> yes, yes. Mimi niliona Mr. Bones, Gods Must Be Crazy. Mr. Bean. Aya. Exactly. So you see, iyo inaitua audiovisual. What does that mean? Audio, visual. What you'll hear and you see is, yani ni kama inakuwa stuck in your mind. Uwezi saao. So if that is how powerful it is, are you wondering why Hollywood wanatengeneza movies using millions of dollars, hundreds of millions even, and maybe haita warudishia iyo, lakini washa tengeneza na washa furaia. You know, I was very surprised to learn at even the, some of the media companies in Kenya, even the very big ones that you neza fikiria, they make losses of hundreds of millions of shillings, but they still remain there. They make money through other things to support this media station. Why? Because they know the power in media. Ata sisi ndio mana tunatumia media. Because there is power in? Media. Yes, so it is a good thing. It is a tool that God has given. Kwa nini, there's no wisdom or counsel against the living God. So kitu yote imetoka kwa brain, ni God amepeana. Hakuna kitu shetani yeo umek. Yeo anachukuanga, anaribu. Iyo tundi wanajoku fanya. Hajui kukreate. So kitu yote enye mungu amepeana. Social media, the internet, all those things, ni God amepeana for this end time. Lakini, you need to be careful what you watch and what you listen to. Gengeton music. Kitambo, eh, awa kina nameless na wahu, walikuwa wana feature feature. Yani, saizi se nimekua mkubwa ndio naelewa kenye walikuwa wanasema kwa nyimbo ze. Nikuwa naimba nikiwa mdogo. Siku wanaelewa. Because wamezi feature, huko ndani. Gengeton wana feature nini? Ati nikona talent. Tuachie hapo tafadhali. Aya, sawa. So, I'll finish with that. I'll finish with that because I don't want to, to, to take a lot of time. Situmelan kitu. 
Job 31 verse 1, just right. Job 31 verse 1, inasema, listen, inasema, I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then would I look at a young woman? By looking, anasema lustfully. Why does Job need to make a covenant? Covenant. Covenant ni kama, marriage is a covenant. It's that serious. Yes. God is called a covenant-keeping God. He keeps his covenant to a thousand generations. He never forgets his word. So Job is making a covenant with his eyes. Why? Because your eyes are the windows to your soul. What you let into your eyes, ni gate umefungua. So kenye umefungulia your gate, ndiyo itaingia. Gate ni eyes, the ears, anything in any sensory organ. Even your, your feelings and your touch. Touch. Is of it without any gates. But the most important, eyes na ears ndiyo vulnerable. The last verse ni itasoma ni iko in Psalms um, one or something say kufungua Psalms wacha tu niwafungulie naona watu wanaandika Psalms chapter 10 101 verse 3 Psalms 101 verse 3 Inasema huyu sasa ni David David says I will set nothing wicked before my eyes I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. What do you do with your phone? What do you do with the TV or my laptop? Yes, David, the king of Israel, a very successful king. Alifanya tumakosa lakini alikuwa successful. Alisema, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. So it matters what you watch. If you watch vitu za uchawi, uchawi, Eh, za thrilla thrilla unaona wamechora masta na masako na makando do you know exactly that is what they do in the occult watu wametoka kwa cult watawaambia please these things they are not jokes wanasemanga hata hizo chants zenye wazi nasema maybe ni the najua series zenye inaitwa the good witch ama ingine siju zingine nimesahau zingine kama hizo hizo chants huwa wanafanya ati ni, ni acting at their real chance and they actually cast spells on the person who is watching yes so ata uki watch movie tafadhali do another thing for me if you won't do it for yourself do it for me ingia kwa internet utafute reviews reviews okay of that movie or that series and listen to what people are saying about it because mimi wasi watch ata hizi series zote si ati nimeona nimeona tu reviews za watu wanasema because that's the intellectual bit of it sijajipeana kwa hiyo kitu the minute you watch something umejipeana kwa lordship ya hiyo kitu okay the final one as we start at we stand did you see this um, song ya huyu mtu anaitwa Lil Nas yeah, so the devil is becoming bolder and bolder. Ata hafichi yani, ata hafichi. Na wewe kwa kingdom, become bold. Mtu asikupimie hewa, we ndio mjanja. Ujanja ni kujuana na Yesu. Kwa sababu that is where we can do all things. Uku kuingine ni bondage. Mi staki kukua in bondage. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. So